Today, we will learn that gases behave independently when mixed together, and each gas exerts its own pressure on the walls of the container. The total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the pressures of the gases inside. Recall from 10.1 that the gas phase is very different from the condensed phase of liquids and solids. In particular, gases can be mixed together in any proportion. When gases mix together, each gas behaves independently, assuming no reaction occurs. This means that each gas has its own pressure, which can be calculated with PV equals nRT if the volume, moles, and temperature are known. The pressure of an individual gas in a mixture is called that gas's partial pressure. If we add up all the partial pressures of each gas in a mixture, we get the total pressure inside the container. This also means that the partial pressure of a gas is equal to its mole fraction in the container times the total pressure in the container. Recall that mole fraction X is equal to moles of one compound divided by total moles. Try using what you've learned about the pressures of mixed gases to solve this practice problem. And here's my color-coded solution. First, calculate the total volume of the combined containers, 100 liters. Then, in order to find the partial pressure of each gas, first calculate the moles of that gas. I get two moles of nitrogen and seven moles of neon. Once you get moles of each gas, there are two different ways to solve the problem. The first way I solve it will use PV equals NRT for both gases to calculate their partial pressures. Then I combine the partial pressures together and I get my total pressure, which is 2.2 atmospheres. The second way to solve this problem actually calculates overall pressure first. We'll add the moles of each gas together since we know that they can mix in any proportion. This gives us nine moles of gas total. Use PV equals NRT to calculate the pressure of nine moles of gas under the conditions in this problem. This is the overall pressure in the container. Finally, multiply the overall pressure by each gas's mole fraction to get that gas's partial pressure. 